Rich of Shane Watson here from PSP Sports. I'm lucky enough to be joined by David Higgins. How are you, David? Good, thank you. Uh, over the UK again. How do, how do you feel about coming to the UK? Do you like the UK? Yeah, it's good. I like it here. It's always nice to come to a big city. There's a lot of st good restaurants and a lot of action. And we're content because we've done the hard work. It's now on the home straight. And now it's down to Joseph Parker to win the fight, and he knows that. How did it feel to finally be here, fight week? All the talk, all the hype, all the action, all going to be coming to end. Well, Sunday morning, it'll all be over. How does that feel? Content. There's a lot of risk, a lot of sweat, blood and tears have gone into Joseph's journey by a, a lot of people, not least Joseph himself. And to, to set a goal that's nearly impossible, but then to achieve it, is satisfying, especially when he's um, had such a good camp and he, there are no excuses. Jo Joshua only wins if he's a better man on the night. But Parker's got clear factual advantages that people seem to ignore. He definitely has a better churn on paper because he's never been down in his life, not as an amateur, not as a professional, um, not in training. Uh, Anthony Joshua has been down. Joseph's definitely faster, and I think he's mentally tougher. So it's we find it a bit bemusing that we're being written off by some people. Um, you know, any heavyweight can knock out another heavyweight. So if one of them lands a lucky punch, it might be all over. But uh, if it goes a few rounds, we're, we're back in Joseph Parker, put some combinations together quickly, and if I was forced, I reckon Parker by stoppage in the middle rounds. Do you think it's suits uh, Parker better to be the underdog. It takes a little bit more pressure off. Going he doesn't into care. He manages pressure very well and he's unflappable. And that's fine that uh, we're the underdog. It doesn't worry him. Um, I think Anthony Joshua is showing signs of, of not managing the pressure so well. And also there was a talk a while ago of Tyson Fury potentially ring walking with Joseph Parker. Do you think that's something that could still happen? Is that something that you would like I Joseph Parker Tyson, to do? Tyson keeps in touch. He supports our team. He's a good guy. We're glad to see him back. And I think he has an event that night that he's speaking at. But look, either way, it's, it's neither here nor there. We're here to beat Anthony Joshua. And Joseph Parker is only focused on beating Anthony Joshua. So he's not worried about the UFC or who's going to pay who $500 million or Deontay Wilder. He's focused only on Anthony Joshua. And also, can you tell us a little bit like what the support's like being from New Zealand? Because also, as a heavyweight world champion, I can imagine the support from New Zealand must be incredible. Oh, it's massive. Like, Joseph was the most Googled New Zealander a couple of years ago, more than the All Black captain or the Prime Minister. So, as we like Joshua here. Um, and in Samoa, the Prime Minister named last Sunday a National Day of Prayer, and the whole country prayed for Joseph Parker. So, I, don't, I think that's quite a um, powerful thing in itself to have a whole country praying for you. Um, <laughs> you know, so, we'll see what happens on Saturday. How much of a support do you know of that he, Joseph Parker's got coming over to the UK? Oh, I think there'll be thousands of New Zealand expats in the audience. I think there'll be a lot of Welsh people that support Joseph Parker. So I think there'll be, be probably 10, 20,000 on Team Parker on the night. Also, any of the All Black Rugby players coming over? Yeah, about 20 of them, I'm told. Uh, so it's, it's, but how much pressure does this put on Parker to think that he almost carries a whole nation on his shoulders? Once again, I've never met anyone that manages pressure so well. He doesn't. He's not under pressure. He, he only worries about the things he can control, and that's his performance in the ring. When Parker's um, around in New Zealand, is he mobbed wherever he goes? Is that the kind of yeah. celebrity status he has in New yes, Zealand? Yes, it's hard for him to walk down the street, um, but he's so good with fans, he really endless does autographs and selfies, so it can be quite draining, but he does it like a trooper. Um, but yes, he's, he's definitely a, a superstar in Samoa and, and New Zealand. Of course. Um, I know, you, obviously, you wouldn't be silly enough to look past Anthony Joshua. What's the plan moving forward from Saturday night? Because if he does get past Anthony Joshua, you'd have to say he's probably the biggest star in world boxing. Yeah, um, well, if he beats Joshua, there'll be a rematch. Even if he beats him well, you believe that the rematch would still happen? Well, with, with his rematch clause in the contract. And so if Anthony, Joseph Parker beats Anthony Joshua, probably there'll be a rematch against Anthony Joshua. Of course, and I mean, have you had any talks at all with Deontay Wilder's team or anything about potential fight? No, no, they're difficult to deal with. They'll be greedy, but we're focused only on Anthony Joshua. There's no point talking to Wilder until after this fight and potentially a rematch. And how would you say you and Eddie Hearn have got on? I know you've had a few words here and there in the build-up. Is that just friendly banter or is that... It's, it's friendly banter. I think he's a good operator. He's good, good for the sport. Honest, cops a lot of criticism but you know we've had no problems with it he's good to work with and yeah of course there's a bit of banter of course well thanks all to Pierce Sports today David we'll catch up with you ahead of fight night anyway and take care and cool. see you then